What is going on squad? I am currently in Mooresville, North Carolina, just north of Charlotte um, for some go-karting here at GoPro Motorplex. It has been extremely warm the past few days, but it's been all around a good time. What's been really cool is that we have been racing at night, so it's called the night fight here at GoPro, and we are running the shifter cart properly getting our butt kicked as always but it's all in good fun and uh, yeah really really cool that we race sort of through the sunset right into uh, when it's totally dark out here in a go-kart. The past two days have just been practice in the heat races which essentially kind of qualify you for like the main events which are today so it's been so different because we're starting driving at like three o'clock I'm mean, not getting done till around like 11 o'clock by the time everything's done so uh, it's been a lot different but uh, pretty fun change I am properly getting my butt kicked like always when I'm in the go-kart I don't know what it is I just cannot figure these things out we keep getting close and then we kind of fall back and have a bad day so all in all it's fun it's a good training tool but for some reason I just can't get any sort of crossover between the race cars and the go-karts I just uh, I feel good in the cart I'm feeling better but it's just really hard to be like right on pace and be like consistent with it if that makes sense so how quickly things move and just like the amount of processing power and time you need to have is nothing like um, in a car where things come at you a lot slower and you have more time to think here especially at this track GoPro Motorplex um, not a lot of time to, uh, to sort of register and uh, between a 48 47 second lap there's a lot going on So we're about to go out for the pre-final right now, which is a 12 um, minute plus two lap race, which essentially grids you for the final. So in a way it's a qualifying, but it's like based on your finishing position. So the goal is to finish somewhat well, as much as we can. Um, and then the last thing will be the final tonight under the lights. I've managed to lose positions in the heat races. So my goal is to just uh, move forward here in the pre -final.
actually went pretty well. We got the hard charger award, meaning that we passed the most carts. I think we started 14th and we ended up finishing 9th overall and 5th in class, I believe. So not bad. It was a good uh, long race, like 17 minutes. So the final is even longer. And I think it's going to be challenging because we're going to be sort of in the middle of a lot of faster carts who didn't finish the race will be coming up behind us. So just looking to sort of have a clean race, keep everything on the track, not uh, damage anything and make sure we can work with the faster carts coming up behind us. So we had to throw the clear visor on the helmet here um, just because with the smoke you can't see at night even though this place is really really well lit um, so we had to throw on the clear visor so we can see and just got suited up and see what we can do just gonna have some fun run the race not cause any trouble and finish so it's been a lot of fun it's been a long three days of running the cart so this is sort of the pent ultimate um, I think it's gonna be around 17 to 18 minutes so it should be a pretty long race in a shifter cart and we'll see what happens. The biggest spectacle in kart racing, in the boxes, to the start lights now as the officials walk off the racetrack. We're ready to the track light safety system, North America. Red lights, we're on. Pro stars, the night fight is away. And the whole shot will go to Talon Yakel on the inside lane. Saraceno jumps into second. They rocket up the hill to turn number three. No stalls off the green. Here we go down the backstretch. Saraceno had a look in the pre-final. Can't get there here in the main. And look at that behind him. What a start for the midfield as we've got a few new faces off the green. I think Josh Conker has slotted into third here. Oh. The first time was definitely... Yeah, the thing getting yeah. hit. This time I just came out of that corner and like... Slapping that lever hard, huh? Yeah, but that's not it working. That's, that thing's literally fucking breaking off. That's like part failure. So the shift rod broke right here. And uh, it's actually a stud that comes out from the engine. And there's actually a little groove in there. And at the groove it sheared right off. So uh, the man's over here is pulling gears. So we couldn't shift anymore. Yeah, couldn't shift. Couldn't shift at all. So, uh, it's an unfortunate end of the weekend, but um, I think we had pace for a podium. So, till next one. Yeah.